Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a cute horse inspired by Beanie Boos. So let's get started. To draw this horse, we're going to first start by drawing an oval for the nose and mouth area. So I'm going to start right here. Start with a curve at the top. And I'm going to bring it around. And connect it at the bottom. And let's come in here and we're going to draw two little points. Just give two little points for the nostrils. And right underneath that, we're going to draw a smile. So it's just a curve. And now we have a happy face, right? <laughs> okay, so from there, let's go ahead and draw the eyes. So I'm going to come above right here on the corner on the edge. And I'm just going to draw a really big circle for the eyes. Bring it all the way around. So same thing over here, really close to the oval. And since it's really big, I'm just gonna drag a point across. Just make sure my circle is about the same. And connect it there. So then let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm gonna come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for always requesting for me to draw Beanie Boos. And so if you love these cute little plushes, make sure to please check out my Draw So Cute Beanie Boos playlist for all the um, animals I've drawn so far from them. It's so cute, right? And the lines at the bottom. So same thing over here. Okay, and from there, I'm just going to come right here and just curve out a lash. And if you like, you can do that. Just bring out a little curve. And then from there, let's start to draw the face. So I'm going to come out pretty wide. So let's say where we started the top of the eye, I'm going to come out, say, about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to start to draw a curve that kind of follows the eye. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just where the eye is, so say about that much. And we're going to start to drop a wide curve around the eyes and the mouth. So let's just bring this down. We're going to aim close to where this oval is. Just bring this curve all the way down. And we're going to get really close to that. About right there, and then we can go ahead and connect it. There, I got the face in the bottom. So then now let's start to go out and draw the top. So I'm going to bring this, and it's going to get a little bit more narrow as we go up. So about right here. So just a little tip, if you're more comfortable drawing the face first and then the eyes, it's all up to you, whichever is easier. But it's because I'm using a Sharpie and there's this tuft of uh, mane right here, so I figure it's probably easier to draw this part first and then the face around it. So let's go back up. And then we're just going to start to slowly go up all the way and we're going to round it off for our head. So it's like the usual dumpling shape. And so I'm not going to finish this curve only because I'm using a Sharpie and I can't erase. So I'm going to come right in here and it's about in this area. I'm going to draw right in the center a curve. So I'm going to start to draw the mane and I'm going to bring this out and curve it out. Right in the center. And then as we come to the top right here, I'm going to just go ahead and draw a bunch of little curves. And bring it down. And you can come in here for some detail lines. 
fan, we're going to go ahead and finish the head, the top of the head. There. Okay, so we have that finally done. <laughs> now let's draw the ears. So I'm going to come to the side, uh, about right here, close to the mane. And I'll just go ahead and draw a curve. Comes down. And we're going to round off the tip right here and bring it in right here so then let's come right here and i'm going to draw a curve it's going to be thicker on this side and then it's going to follow the outside on the other side for an edge so same thing over here and i'm just going to drag this point across so i kind of know where to stop on the other side and i'm going to go up once again just like the other side I'm going to drag this point across and approximately how high to go to my point, round it off, and I'm aiming towards that point. Come down and slightly curve in. So then let's once again draw the inside and the edge there. So then now for there's this little detail right here, if you like, I'm going to lightly show you, or you can just do it when you're coloring it. I'm going to give myself a point right here in the center. And I'm just going to very lightly draw a curve and then zigzag my way up to this point. It's random zigzagging very lightly. So this is the tuff of white on the horse. So then now let's finally draw the body. I'm going to come about right here, centering it, and just very zigzag just a little bit initially, and then we're going to bring down a curve for the front legs. So let's just bring this down more. And then I'm going to find my center. So say about right here. And from this point, I'm just going to go up and zigzag out. Up, zigzag, and out. So now I know where my center is. From there, let's come out a little bit on both sides. And let's bring this curve down. So we're aiming towards the center, but we won't touch. We're just going to slowly build our front. And let's bring this around. And go ahead and connect it. About right there. So now that we have the front legs in, let's come right here and we're going to draw a little curve if you have some space in between to finish it off. And now to draw the back. So about right here. Draw a slight curve. We're going to work on this side first, and then another curve, and then round it off and bring it in. Now let's draw the same thing on the other side. So same area, about right here, and short little curve about right there. And let's bring this out, and we're just going to curve it in. So, all right there, same area right here, and then bring it in. There. So then from this shape, let's come in here for some details. And in this area where you um, went in, we're just going to zigzag a little bit and then bring it in. And then in this area right here, let's throw out this part first. We're going to pretend there's a little oval right here. So we're kind of drawing a hoof and another curve right around it. So because there's two different colors of fur, that's why we have this little crease right here. So same thing over here. Maybe it's easier if I show you this way. I'm going to come and draw the hoof first. So just draw around, then another layer. So we have the hoof in, and then right here, we're going to zigzag a little bit for the fur. 
Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's come and draw the tail. So I'm just gonna tuck it right back here. So let's say about right here, I'm just gonna draw a curve that comes out and bring it back in. And, um, oh, almost forgot, <laughs> right here. So let's draw the front hooves. So we're gonna draw um, two different colors as well. So let's start at the bottom right here and I'm going to zigzag my way across. For the bottom part, just zigzag and walk across. And then there's one more layer. Just up and down randomly so it doesn't look too stiff. There. And then finally, of course, let's add a heart right here. So now it's my Draw So Cute Horse from Beanie Boos. Hope I uh, made this easy for you to follow along and inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.